Hi guys, you alright? How you doing? Listen, you would not believe this. I have literally just woken up from another prophetic dream that was on exactly the same subject as yesterday. But what I just witnessed just now was even more horrific. Alright? And, and I literally just woken up from it. I've just quickly splashed my face and bang, straight on there recording it and letting you know about it. So the dream. In the dream, I was a coach driver. And I had another driver next to me. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know it, in real life, I used to drive coaches and I've got the, the license. Let's get back into the dream. Um, I had a, a lady driver next to me and we were picking up our passengers from... I don't know what this was. It was some place. We were just picking them up from some place that had fields and stuff. Uh, it was a big place, big estate sort of thing. Anyway, so our, our passengers got on the vehicle, and these were mainly elderly people. And we were driving along, and for some reason we made a stop. I think it must have been a toilet stop of some sort by a field. And and the passengers were off the uh, the vehicle, and myself and this other lady driver got off the vehicle to stretch your legs as you do sort of thing. And we were looking out over a field, and it was fairly cloudy, and suddenly I noticed a tornado, right? Very similar to the tornado that was in yesterday's dream, but now in this dream. This was vivid. I believed I was there just now, right? And I was looking out over this tornado, and I was like, wow. It's important to know that I was not remembering yesterday's dream, nor was I thinking over yesterday's dream, right? So they're not connected like this. I believe that this dream has come from our Lord also, very strongly. Please pray about this for yourself. Anyway, so the, the not remembering yesterday's dream, but being in this dream uh, and believing that I'm really there, I'm looking out over to a field and I see this tornado that's very similar to yesterday's dream over the field. And I was there with this other female driver and I was like, wow, look, there's a tornado. We don't see tornadoes here much where I live, all right? And it wasn't made known to me which country I was in, but I, I'm guessing I would have been in the UK, but don't know for sure, but I think so. And I'm looking out over this tornado, and, and I sort of said to my passengers, oh, look at this, you know, there's a tornado over there in the distance. It was probably like a mile or two away, you know. And they were like, oh, wow. And they were fascinated by it. Wow, it's a tornado. And, and this, this lady driving next to me was like, wow, look at that. Would you believe that? It's a tornado. You know, we just don't see tornadoes, like, you know. We were looking at it, and um, and it was dark, and there was like the odd lightning bolt coming down with it, and then the tornado that we were looking at was starting to come towards us. Right, it wasn't just in the distance anymore, going wherever it was going. It, this tornado was coming towards us pretty quick, and it was it was terrifying, mate. I mean, it really was absolutely terrifying. And I, and I noticed like from like two miles away, it was suddenly one mile away. You know, this thing was coming at us. And I, I, I quickly like shouted to my passengers, get on the coach, get on the coach, we've got to go now. Sort of scrambling around. And, and these were like, uh, like little old ladies sort of thing. No disrespect to elderly people, you know. Um, and they were climbing onto the coach, but they were sort of taking their time about it. You know, and I was like, get on the, I was like, get on the coach, get on the coach, get on the coach. Like, you know, and then, but we still had this tornado about a mile away, but you could see it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it was coming closer and closer and closer, you know. And this other lady driver was like, yeah, we better go. And I said, look, start driving, like, you know. Um, and she started driving. But for some reason, she wasn't a very confident uh, coach driver. Anyway, we got going, and I thought, I was sort of like, oh, that was close, man. Like, that tornado's now behind us. We made quite some ground away from it, you know. It's all good, like, you know. Now, for some reason, and I do not know why, we stopped again. Um, this lady coach driver... I don't know, I think it was like a confidence issue, I don't know what it was, man, but we stopped again by this field. Oh, mate, it flipping scares me, man, I'm just repeating this. Um, in this field, man, oh, I mean, like, three, four hundred yards away, there was another tornado. Oh, mate. Mate, I would never ever want to be at the f in front of a tornado in real life like I just experienced. I would never want to be in that situation. It was truly terrifying, man. If the tornado was like 400 feet away from us and we were all out of the vehicle again. 
and there was like an argument going on with some people and this, that, the other. And I was saying there is a tornado right here. I mean, everybody could see it, like, you know, and the clouds were black and there was like lightning coming down and this tornado right in front of us. And it was almost as if it was just like spinning in one spot, like three, four hundred yards. And then a second one comes out from behind it and there's these two huge tornadoes in front of us. And then three, four, five, five tornadoes, roughly around five, all within the same proximity as each other. Lightning coming down, and suddenly these tornadoes were coming towards us. And it, ah, uh, mate, yesterday's dream, there was a bit of distance between me and the tornado, but this dream that I just had just now, you were literally, this thing was right upon you, man. And you're looking up at it, and you're looking at it, and it, it was terrifying how the wind moved. How the wind moves in that vortex and it just so quickly, incredibly fast speeds. It can just shift and move in any way, like, you know. And I said to the uh, the lady, we've got to go now, we've got to go now. Like, you know, and I was getting all my passengers back on the vehicle. And as we were starting to drive, obviously this lady driver started really panicking. Well, she was panicking about driving the coach with these tornadoes behind us, but I knew that she was panicking about driving the coach anyway. She didn't seem to be a confident driver. She was panicking about the passengers on board and panicking about the situation. I had my arm around her and I said, it's okay, you're doing really well, you're doing really well, just keep going, keep going, take a right here, keep going left, left, like, you know. Um, and, and these tornadoes were monstrously close and very fast, absolutely terrifying. It was almost as if, yeah, these just, oh, mate. Unbelievable fear, man. Um, and she was driving and she got to the point where she was going through red lights and speed cameras. And I said, like, nobody cares about the speed cameras. I got my phone up in my dream and I started to film these uh, tornadoes. And I said, like, if the police say anything, I obviously got the evidence here, like, you know, five tornadoes. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, you know... <sighs> We were going through red lights and I'm sure the coach hit a couple of cars along the way, like sort of skim them sort of thing. And I was in shock as we were driving along that the other cars were driving at a normal speed. It's like, how had they not noticed what was going on back there? You know, it was only like one or two, maybe three cars. There wasn't a lot of cars on the road, but it, you would have thought that they would have been aware of that. Surely, you know. Um, And then, guys... The dream pretty much ended there, right? And the f whole focus was on these tornadoes in my dream. And like I said, this time, I was so much closer to them. And unbelievable fear, mate. Unbelievable, you know? I'm sharing this dream exactly as I received it, right? You need to pray about this and weigh this up with our Lord's word for yourself. This is the second day in a row that I've received a very similar dream on tornadoes, right? And not just one or not just one tornado, but multiple tornadoes. At one point, when I was saying about those uh, five tornadoes, there was like a cluster of five of them. Oh, it was so horrible, mate, and moving around each other, and oh, and then, but at the same time, there was a tornado right across the field, and then. Uh, I don't know if this is something that's going to happen soon. I don't know. I don't know when this is going to happen. But I'm telling you now, all right? You you pray about this and you be prepared, mate. You get ready, all right? It's truly horrific. <sighs> truly, truly horrific. All right, right. So make sure that you're in right standing with our Lord. Be in daily repentance and daily submission to our Lord. Live it right, all right? Join Christian communities in the first link in the description. The Christian communities are ultimately preparing for the end of days, but we are also preparing for natural disasters. If we were to get like a heads up, couple of days notice, then what you would do is come together with Christians in your local region, like by joining the communities, you would come together with them in a local region, put a plan in place, get some survival gear, food, water supplies, you know, and say like there's a disaster and you've got a couple of days notice of it, or even a day notice. You head to a safe location, disaster goes on by, you return back, rebuild your life and continue on. You would also restock, replenish your supplies ready for the next one. 
ultimately in the end of days when we flee, we'll be out there permanently, like, you know. In the second link in the description is the Christian Community's Complete Survival Guide, which I wrote for the Christian Communities. I wrote this to help you. It's got all the survival skills that you need to know in how to survive in real life survival situations out there, how to survive a multitude of disasters, including tornadoes, all right, and hurricanes. As I'm saying this, I really believe I feel our Lord's presence upon me. So you pray about what I'm saying in this video, it's very serious. So feel free to join the Christian Communities in the first link in the description. And in the second link is the Christian Communities Complete Survival Guide, alright? And this will really, really help you. You work together with your community, you put a plan in place together, alright? Write it up in the back of your survival guide. That's what this survival guide has been written for, for us Christians, alright? To stick together, alright? Please pray about everything that I have shared with you in this video and wear up with our Lord's Word for yourself. Get prepared, guys. Be ready. Be warned. No, this is a warning. All right. Be ready. Be prepared in every possible sense. Two days in a row, I've received a similar dream on the same subject. You know what I mean? Very serious, mate. Pray about this. Right, you'd be safe, man. Take care. Over and out.